Hello and welcome to the show. Now I've got a great project for you over the next two programs because I'm going to convert this building behind me into a home cinema. Now many moons ago when the house was a working farm it used to be three loose boxes for the horses and you can see the stable doors still there. Now the previous owner to me had converted two of those into one large room to house his snooker table and I've since used it as a workshop when we were working on the house and prior to building my big workshop over there and it's currently used by my kids as a bit of a games room and not getting a great deal of use at the moment and I suspect it's going to be a lot more popular once we convert it into a home cinema and if you come inside I'll give you an idea of what I intend to do. Well, as you can see, it's a good sized room, but there are a couple of problems that I have to solve before we do anything else, and that is to do with soundproofing. Firstly, we have to stop sound escaping from the building, and secondly, we have to improve on the acoustics of the room. Now, sound escaping is a problem because it's going out through these windows, through the door, and some creaky old windows over there. We have really solid, thick walls, which is great for us to work with, but the problem these are causing us from an acoustics point of view inside is it making the room very live and by that I mean if I clap my hands you can hear it reverberating off the wall so we need to solve that problem by damping everything down. The other problem I want to get over as well is that the room although it's a good shape for a cinema it is quite long and thin and what I want to do is to break it into two but not put in a permanent wall so what I'm going to do is to build a new entrance here which will house a heavy acoustic door. Now that's straight away is going to help with sound escaping out through those doors and I'm going to replicate it slightly over here by building another wing in and what that will do is to give us two, two rooms effectively. This half will be the cinema and this half we can still use for the boys to play pool in and also for my youngest son to play his drums in. So, how are we going to get around this acoustic problem? Now, I've spent a bit of time working in radio studios over the years, know a bit about that, and also I've done quite a lot of research recently. So, how we're going to do it is to build a room within a room, and that's just going to be stud work. It's fairly straightforward construction. We're going to stud it all out, and then what we'll do is put sound absorbing material within there, then it will get boarded up, and then we'll put further sound absorbing material on the top, which will be covered with cloth. So, it will make the room a, look very attractive, but also it will soften it up. And all that sound, when it's coming out from the loudspeakers, will be absorbed. So the next thing I need to do is to clear this room out, strip out all the radiators, strip out the carpet, get it completely clear, and order my timber, and start building some stud work. Boy, these old stable walls are really tough. Well, as you can see, I've made a start on the stud work. What I've done was to take out uh, the pair of doors that were here and a bit of stud work around that. And what that has done, as you can see, is to open this up. And this will form a little entrance lobby. Now, I've put this stud wall up, as you can see, and I'm about to build another one here. And this well, that's our little bulkhead finish. And all I did there, really straightforward, was to make up two separate frames out of two by two and just screw them together, then fix that one in place, fix that one in place, and then screw them together, as you see. Makes for a really nice, strong job. They will be filled with rock wool. Then this whole lobby area is going to be trimmed out with bead butt effect MDF. It's going to be really solid, coat of paint. It's going to look really neat and tidy, especially when we put a little spotlight in the ceiling. Now, if you come over here, I'll show you how this wall system is going to work. Very straightforward. Stud wall we're just going to build all around the room. Bottom half is going to have plasterboard on it up to this dado section. This serves two purposes. The first purpose is to make a stop for the carpet because we're going to bring the carpet along the floor and up the side and that will just give it a nice natural break. And also if we look down the end section you can see the shape and the reason I've done that is because we're going to put some lighting in here. There's going to be some kind of low voltage lighting. On top of this will be these frames. Um, bearing in mind this is a mock-up, so they're going to be much bigger than this. And they're 50 mil thick, just glued and screwed together. And these will hold a special sound absorption material. And what will happen then, that will be put into those, and then we will stretch a cloth over here, which will be the finish. Uh, article, the finished material, that will be stretched over and then these panels will be just velcroed onto the stud work. So to the touch it will, be, it will feel very soft, you'll actually be able to move it in and out. But what it will do, it will absorb the sound brilliantly. So that's the construction of, of the stud work. What I need to do now is go off to the workshop and make a door frame that's going to hold that huge door over there. Mm -hmm. 